When you order a starter kit, you get a lot of accessories, although each of these individual items are available on the online store as well. You can easily swap your M4000 onto different mounting options, such as a hat, a headband, or safety glasses, which I'm going to show you how to do now. We'll start with the standard safety glasses mounting. Let's start by mounting the battery. When mounting the 478 standard issue battery, USB-C to USB-C, you should get about two hours. The 3350, the cylindrical extended life battery, is a USB-C to USB-A, and it gives you up to around four to five hours. Either battery can be charged mid-cycle. So if you go to lunch, you can throw them on the charger, charge them up. Charging takes about an hour or an hour and a half, depending on how low it was drained. The 478 uses the same port to charge as it does to power the M4000 main unit. The 3350 uses the micro USB cable to charge. So as you may know, only View6 enables you to hot swap batteries for their equipment. When your battery's running low, it'll give you about five minutes warning to say, hey, you might need to switch batteries. What you can do then is you just unplug the battery from the back, switch it out with the new battery, plug it back in, and you'll be good to go without losing any work. If you don't make that five minute window, uh, it'll gracefully shut itself down and save any work you may be working on. Slide the viewer onto the C-channel rail on the side, which you have eye dominance. Again, you can watch that video if you're not sure which side you're gonna attach it to. So even though there's a USB-C connecting the battery to the main unit, they also give you a strap for the back of the safety goggles. And you wanna make sure that if you do take your glasses off, you wanna rest it on the strap, not put any extra strain on the USB-C cable. So that when you do take them off your head, all the weight's on the elastic strap, not on the USB-C cable going from the battery to the main unit. It's a very important point. The headband. The headband's useful when you don't wanna wear a hat, you don't wanna wear the hard hat, and you don't want to wear the safety goggles. So you connect the main unit to the lower version. It's got a ball joint to enable you to get it in all sorts of positions. And again, it's just like everything else, slide it into the grooves and it'll make connection and you can move it until it's comfortable. The other side with a very low profile on there is the one that you slide the battery into. And again, then just connect your USB-Cs to each other. Hard hats. So another accessory is a little hard hat mount. And most hard hats have an accessory slot that you can attach these things to. So we've given you two, one for each side that you just slide into the accessory slot. And then, like everything else, you slide the viewer and the battery onto the mounts. Super easy, super nice, and super safe. The hat mount. So the accessory kit comes with a nice View6 branded hat if you wanna do a little advertising. But it's also nice just to kind of, if you don't want to wear the, the hard hat, you don't want to wear the safety glasses or the headband, a hat's a nice option to hold the viewer and the battery. So the important thing to know with the hat mount kit is the bigger one, the larger one, is for the viewer. And the, and the smaller one is for the battery. Depending on which side you, you have eye dominance, then that's the side that the viewer is going to go on. Now, we're going to show you how to install it so that it's on correctly. So what you want to do with the big mount depending on your eye dominance, is get it as close to the brim as you can, and that'll make it so your ears are not affected by the back of the viewer. So you wanna make sure that you get it as close to the brim as possible, and you just kinda weasel these things in and out, and it's very secure. And then, again, you wanna just slide the viewer onto the channels and then adjust it with all the different angles that you can get it at to make sure it's comfortable for you. A replacement waveguide. If anything were to happen to the waveguide that's in your M4000, they give you another one in the kit that you can replace and they make it super easy to replace it. Um, these are, a lot of technology goes into this little piece of glass. So of course you wanna be careful and only hold it on the outside uh, very carefully. So you'll see in the unit, there's two Phillips head small screws that you just replace and it takes out a little piece that you pull out your waveguide, seat your new waveguide in very securely and just replace those two screws 
and make sure they're all the, all the way hand tightened down. Don't, don't turn it too, too hard and get it too tight. But once you do that, that's all there is to replace a waveguide that um, has gotten some damage to it. Super easy.